Today, I would like to talk to you about some reserve terminology, EUR and reserve. So we use those when we're describing reserves. So what is the difference between reserves and EUR? And EUR stands for Estimated Ultimate Recovery. It's a common term that we use for wells. EUR is the ultimate amount of oil and gas that will be produced over the life of the well. Reserves are volumes of oil and gas that are left to be produced, so that they can be different. Another important thing we have to understand is the as-of date, because we have to know the date you want the reserves evaluated as of, because it can change each day. What, what are some types of reserves? We have crude oil, condensate, associated gas, non-associated gas, and natural gas liquids. Now these would develop for conventional reservoirs. So I'm going to show you a Haynesville shale unconventional gas well. So I would like to get your opinion. Would this be considered a non-associated reservoir or not? So give me your comments on that. All right, here's an example of producing well. You have the rate on the y-axis and the time and years on the x-axis. And the, uh, the jagged red line is the production history of the well. And the smooth line going forward is the reserve projection of what you think the well is going to do in the future. The as of date is January 1st, and it's indicated by the heavy black line. The reserves for the well are in this green area. And the economic limit is the other black line because once the well reaches the economic limit, there are no more reserves. So in this case, the well has about 0.36 BCF of reserves. But over its life, its EUR is 5.1 BCF, so that it's going to be different. The reserves and the EUR are different. So that's a producing well example. Let's look at a drilling well example. This is a tight curve uh, showing the gas rate on the y-axis and time and years on the x-axis. And this is an expected profile, rate profile for wells we're going to drill in the future. Some people call them production type curves, drilling type curves, or the new terminology is type well. So these type curves are used to evaluate the economics of future wells. And what can we learn from a type curve? We can get the initial production rate, in this case it's 10 million a day, and the reserves that are going to be produced over the life is EUR of 7.7 .7 BCF. And we can quote the hyperbolic B factor, which, is, which describes the curvature of that line. That's important to a lot of people. The as of date will be before you drill the well. And the, and the reserves for this well are 7.7 .7 BCF. So in this case, the reserves in EUR are the same. So let's recap. Reserves are always remaining. Reserves change every day when the well is producing. If you change the as of date, the reserves change. And the only time EUR and reserves are the same is before you drill the well. So I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, just please contact me. Thank you.